Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to add footstep sounds or this hoof sounds for the host character. So like this, when he is uh, walking, the footstep sounds will be, yeah, when he is walking the sounds will play like this and when he's running the sound will be like this and when he's galloping sound will be like this so yeah that's what i am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com uh, till the prime series and i'll put the link in the description below and there you can join my patreon club club and based on the tier you join you will have different privileges as i have explained here right so let's get back to work all right so first let me show you the footstep sounds that i have already imported so these are the footstep sounds for the host that I'm going to use and these, these are not really host footsteps these are some human footsteps or wooden force but for now I'm going to use them because I don't have any other real horse footstep sounds okay so where to start first I need to add animation notifiers to places that I need to play footstep sounds so on the horse let's go to horse animations and well this is walking so let's first add sounds to walk in and uh, I have one small problem so I could just add just play a sound like this but uh, I'm not going to do that way because if I play the sound like this then I will not be I will not have control over the sound like when I am working on stones I should have play some appropriate sound and when I am working on grass the sound should be different so to that kind of a control to have a control like that I'm gonna have to have a different approach therefore I'm gonna add an animation notifier and I'm going to play the footstep sound through the character blueprint so this is the first place that we encounter a footstep here so I'll add a notify called footstep and this is the next place I encounter the footstep of this one add notify footstep and here is the third one notify footstep and here is the fourth all right so now I'll go to the animation blueprint and here I think I should use a different event graph for anime notifiers okay and footstep right so now 
I already have uh, this PP character and let's see yeah we already have this defined this uh, footstep event through the BPI character interface BPI character this one okay so we did this uh, BPI character interface for the human character and since this is host is also a character I can use the same interface without any conflicts right now I'll just compile this and well in this case I don't really need to know whether if it is left or right so I'll just leave it first okay so now let's go to the host character and I need another event graph for let's use the same name movement is it good no let's use sounds and if facts right here I'll implement event footstep okay now I can place sound at location and the location I'll just use uh, character location get actor location actually it would be more accurate if I use uh, get the socket location of each foot each hoof but this would be good enough I guess and for the sound effect well I'll I have three sound effects and I'm going to play randomly one from this three whenever I play the sound so I can do that through a sound cue this one I'll name it well I'll keep the uh, same name okay I have this one and I'll this to add this to as well like this and we can add a random node here and connect these three and connect the output here so each time I play this I will get a random output from these three so for each individual effect I haven't added this attenuation settings therefore I'll add that here and I have already defined attenuation settings for footsteps for the human character so I think that would do for the host as well right now let's try playing this one okay let's see how that how we hear it well the sound is terrible honestly it's terrible okay doesn't matter let's use the same sound cue that I use for the human footsteps this one let's use this two like this and I don't need a third pin 
and let's see how does it plays now yes the horse okay that's better than that sound we earlier had right the next thing is okay so I need to add that notification to the protein this animation and also the gallop animation this one so I'll do them off the screen to save the video time because that's not much complex thing so after that I'll show you how I I'll show you the final result okay so this is how I added the footstep to gallop and this is how I added to the trotting let's see how that works okay this is normal walking and this is trotting and this is galloping right but for the walking and trotting and galloping the sound effect uh, is same so let's give some variation based on the running or walking speed so let's add a pitch multiplier based on the moment mode select pitch multiplier okay so according to my definition uh, moment mode 0 means it's walking and 1 means running 3 2 means galloping so this one must be let's say 0.8 and this one 1.3 this one 2 let's see how does it how do we hear it now okay this is protein and this is galloping I think this way is better don't you think okay so also we could uh, give some volume multiplier as well but I don't think that's necessary only this pitch modifier is enough and in the future episodes I do want to change different sounds based on the surface type the horse step on but uh, I'm gonna I want to do it for both human character and horse character so therefore I'll keep that aside for a while and focus on improving the horse movement for example in the current version this uh, horse movement and rotation looks very unrealistic for example look at the way this horse rotate and also turns and also no bumping on effect at all when trotting this one is a little better and I want to focus on those things so right that's all for today and I'll upload the latest project files into my patreon and the link would be in the, in the description below and please note that uh, uh, in this project files I wouldn't share the assets that I do not have rights to share but you will have all the blueprints and everything that I create so yeah please note that
and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and also if you have further questions please please feel free to ask in the below or you can contact me via patreon and goodbye see you in the next episode